So this goes back to that own university tap closure in the mm -hmm. CFTY view, right? Yes. yes. You would prefer using this function instead of duplicating code. Or you would like to call this closure directly when there is a tap. Uh, I think so. Yeah, whenever if you, if you scroll up a little bit, you can see the 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 on the there's the, the on university tap, right? And um, I guess the the question is here. I'm getting back the university, but in order to navigate, um, uh, you know, basically, I, I guess in this situation it's a little bit strange because i have two different implementations there's a ui kit implementation and also the swift ui implementation um and i guess the question is here whenever i want to bring out a a um a function that requires a university type i have to import that other university um uh, search module in order to be able to have access to that university type. Is it, I guess my question is, is it bad to be importing that university search in, in places or is it too many places? Is that a sign of something not being organized properly? Let's see. So we have the university search module mm -hmm. and we have the UI module, right? What's it called? The application module. Mm -hmm. UniViewer. The application depends on this UniSearch. Why does this UniSearch module exist? Why is it separated and this is not inside the University Viewer module? Uh, the University Search is the one that, that uh, implements the University Loader protocol. And it has the remote loader Right, but why you separated it into another module? I that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I think I was trying to I, I I think you know my thought was you know if if I have a, I was thinking of this as being a more complex app, not not a very simple one like this. So how how I would separate those different modules out per sort of feature mm. and. Okay. And uh, I think that's why I did this university search module. Yeah, so all those modular decisions will depend on what you're trying to achieve, right? There's always, there must be a reason for things. That's why I'm asking. For example, if you say, I decouple the uni search modules because I want to have different applications. Like I have a uni viewer iOS app. I have another one like uni viewer Mac OS app, and I want them to use the same unit search types. Then you move it to a separate framework and you use it across applications, right? Into another module. So here there's a clear benefit. You're reusing those types, keeping that domain logic shared across applications, mm -hmm. right? But if you have only one application, then that's not a problem to keep everything in the same module, right? It's one application will never grow. It's a tiny application. That's it. Keep everything in the same module, easy to access. Now, the question is like, let's say that this is what you want. You want this uh, separation here in a separate module, the unit search to be in its own module so it can be used across applications. Now, the question was, if that's what we want, is there a problem if I import UniSearch everywhere in the iOS app? Let's see. So you have a SwiftUI view and imports it. The view model imports it. The view controller imports it as well. Yeah, I start to feel like I'm importing this <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. So what this is saying is that this application is very tightly coupled with the UniSearch. This would be a problem is if e the Unisearch, for example, you say there's a remote backend API behind it, right? Providing this university data. Mm -hmm. There's a Unisearch backend at some point. This may be a problem that you may have like three applications, like a UniViewer plus TV, like watchOS application. 
it may be a problem if you are coupling these applications with details of the backend because the backend may change they may change the keys they may change for different reasons right you may decide you not know, i'm going to start using firebase no i'm going to use my own custom backend and then if those api are depending on details of this backend you'll be hard to update it because if the backend changes you need to update all the applications okay and this is what we show in the program one way to solve that problem is to eliminate dependencies on backend details and make the backend details depend on the application because i see here that you have the backend details in this module right with the keys for example So as long as your application doesn't talk directly to this remote university, you can even make it private, you know? <laughs> make everything that is like volatile private. Private. And you only expose, this is an app model, let's say. Now yeah. here you shouldn't expose any implementation details of this backend API. This should be exactly what your application needs, not what the, the backend provides. Because then you decouple all the applications from the backend. But some of the components in the university viewer, they just depend on the, new, on the university model, right? Correct, yes. Yeah, but you need to import university search. And that makes you... that makes you ask yourself, hey, do I import, you know, this thing a lot? Is there like too much coupling? Which can indicate that maybe there is a missing module there, you know, like a model kind of module, a, a university feature kind of, exactly. Another word for that is domain, right? Yeah. And that will be the feed feature if you want to compare uh, what we're doing in the course. Right, so you have your networking in one place, and then you have the the domain in another place, right? And then you would see that actually the the perhaps the 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 Swift UI view, the view controllers, they don't care about the the university search module; they only care about the university model that can be in the uni feature domain, for instance. Exactly. Because if you want to start creating more separation, what you can do is you can have a module just for the UI, right? And then you can have the uni UI. Yeah. The UI doesn't need to talk to backend, doesn't need to talk to loaders. The UI is only concerned about like maybe rendering the the data, mm -hmm. the app models, right? Or UI presentation here. You can test the whole UI only with the models, nothing about Unisearch. But at some point, you will have an application that will compose the UI presentation with the Unisearch. But you should be able to run your application without the backend, because then it will be much more, much easier to test, to deploy, maintain. Because you can run your application with other backend as well if you want. You can have a demo application that run with other backend. So you won't be importing Unisearch all the, everywhere. Because Unisearch is about this search feature, for example. Right? And maybe you don't need it everywhere. So this is if you really want to achieve this separation because you want to reuse code across applications without having any modularity problems in the future. But if it's just like a simple application, you can put everything in one module. <laughs> one application module. Yeah, exactly. So it always comes down to what you're trying to achieve, what are the needs of the project. That's the key in architecture. There's no one way that fits all. So I guess my question would be, in that case, um, let's say this, this application right now is very simple. Um, 
but let's say I want to keep adding to it and eventually it becomes more complex. How do I, uh, how do I ensure that at that point things aren't so tightly coupled that it'll be very difficult to, to break apart if I put everything into one module? So here we are looking at modular dependencies, right? We're looking at like this big picture. We have here the app module depending on the UI presentation module and the UI presentation module depending on the domain feature module, right? So it's high level. If you want to keep things, everything in one module, but still keep them in a way that is easy to later modularize your app, you will zoom in into each of those boxes and think about the dependencies of each class, of each struct, each, each component in your application. So for example, you can zoom in in the UI and see which UI components actually depend on the domain. And you see that it's just a subset of them, right? And maybe they can go in a separate module as well. Everything that has a dependency on it. And then you have another module that has dependency on nothing. So you will zoom in into this because now we're looking at very high level modular yeah. dependency. And then inside the, each module, there is a bunch of classes. There's a bunch of structs, enums, and then you can analyze the dependencies between them. How they communicate between them. And you're going to learn about the concept called a boundary, which is key uh, for what you're asking here, you know, like for things to make sense. Um, but yeah, like as a rule of thumb, you, you want to, you want components to talk to adjust them components, you know, in like dependent in a dependency graph. You don't want them to talk to, I don't know, like two hops away, three hops away, uh, because that's how you create like bad dependencies, probably implicit as well, you know? Okay. So you will zoom in inside the module here and you'll find out that inside here, I have a university model, for example. This university model doesn't depend on anything. And then inside the UI, you realize that the UI has a view, a list view that depends on this university model. And you think, mm, I don't want, I want to decouple the UI from the domain because I want to be able to reuse the UI across domains in different applications. So like, mm, how can I eliminate this? You will create here. In other view, it will create exactly a university view model, for example, or university data, university store, whatever you want to call it, in this model here, with only the data the list view needs, because this university may expose 20 properties, but you only care about two, then you can create a specific view model for this list view item with exactly what this list view needs. And it will be some someone else here in the application will have to map university, like convert university into university view model. And now you have these two, this UI presentation module is decoupled from the domain. Yes. So when there is a need, when there is a requirement, then we find a solution for it. But trying to find solutions without the requirement, it doesn't work that way because there are infinite solutions. There are many ways of doing everything. But when there is a clear requirement, then there is a few solutions to that. <laughs> you okay. reduce a lot the the requirements, the solution set. So when you want to decouple two modules, look at inside, you zoom in into the module dependencies, look at each like individual class and say, okay, I want to eliminate these two dependencies. How? Well, I need to create my own model because the list view still needs a model that will give data to be rendered. But instead of using the one that is defining this domain model, I will create my own with exactly the data we need. And it's up to another module to communicate to with the domain and convert it to what I need. I see. Right. So there are strategies for it. Yeah. You find out there in the program, depending on the requirements. That's key. First comes the requirement, then comes the solution. 
Okay, I'm solving too far ahead of the problem. <laughs> yes, <laughs> kind of. So since you are experimenting, and you want to create a project to experiment ideas, come up with some crazy requirements, you know, and then try to implement them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then it's much easier when you ask questions as well in the community because you can say, hey, you, here's the requirement. Here's what I tried. Or like, here's the requirement I need to achieve. Here's what I tried. Can you help me solve this? Okay. Thank you. That's great. Great. Uh, great uh, feedback. Thank you. So when you see that, oh, I'm importing something in a lot of places, then and you don't want to import it, you think it's a problem, then you can look at the diagram and find out how to eliminate the dependencies. <laughs>